Of course, a crab is a strange pet to have. Unless, well, if you're a mermaid, which I'm not, or if you're a cancer thriver, which I am. Think about it. One minute, he is harmless, even docile. And then suddenly, he'll snap at the hand that feeds him. Quite like the disease itself, you know. You never really know when the next bite's coming. And that's why I brought this guy home. Cancer is his name. And he's more than my pet. He reminds me that I once had cancer. And that experience changed me forever. More than the surgery, what really hurt was the truth. It wasn't fate that gave me the cancer. I gave it to myself with the life choices I made. So, to be cancer free, what I had to do was to make better life choices. That's where this guy comes in. Be healthy Vijay, he says, and be whole. Most importantly, he's my pet and I'm in charge of him. Not the other way around. I like to describe cancer as a scare giver because it did threaten my life. But it was no match at all for Nilima, my caregiver. Now together, they keep me focused and positive. People call me a survivor. But I don't like that very much. Look at me. I'm no survivor. I'm a thriver. I've been cancer free for 11 years. And through it all, we've been co-travelers. To tame your cancer, you have to see it differently. Remember, how you feel is how you heal. So get past your fear of death and learn to respect your cancer experience. That's when you too can stop surviving and start thriving. I used to look at a crab and see hot spicy crab soup. Now I look at him and I see a new life ahead of me.